What's going on everybody? Welcome back to Why Not RV. This week we're going to talk about your RV's fire extinguisher. Jasper and I want to tell you a little bit about your fire extinguisher. <laughs> now most RVs uh, come with a fire extinguisher somewhere. So first off, you need to know where that's at. Mine happens to be right inside my door here as soon as you open up the door. Now I already replaced this, and we're gonna talk about that. Um, but if you look at your fire extinguisher, it probably looks something similar to this thing right here. This is a really small, I mean, look, here's my hand. You see, see how tiny that thing is? I don't know what kind of fire that's supposed to put out, maybe a grease fire in your kitchen, something small, but definitely nothing major. It's a very, very small fire extinguisher. Um, so I went ahead and moved this one that came with the RV down into my basement uh, just to have a second one uh, available um, just because you never know where a fire is going to start for all you know the fire is somehow blazing at your door and you can't get to that fire extinguisher so having one uh, outside or a second one in here gives you at least another option to a fire extinguisher now the one that I have inside my actual RV that I upgraded to I bought right on Amazon and as you can see, compared to my hand, it's at least twice the size, um, much, much bigger. Uh, I would say it's probably about three times the size of that original one. And it was just two little screws on the back that hold the mount in place to replace it. Really simple. It was like $20. So super, super easy thing to do. And, you know, really makes you a lot safer rolling down the road. Now, I'm not sure how many of you have seen uh, on Facebook and YouTube of different trailers catching fire or trucks catching fire um, when you're when you're towing. Uh, so one of my biggest fears is when I'm towing either my truck or my trailer starting a fire and then not being able to, number one, put out the fire and number two, separate the two entities so that I can at least save my truck or at least save the trailer, whichever one isn't on fire. Um, because I've seen it many times where the truck sets fire because of some electrical problem or engine problem or whatever it is. And all of a sudden the whole truck's engulfed in flames and your trailer is still attached. And now your trailer's on fire and then you lose your trailer too. So it's just, it, it, it's an unnecessary loss in my opinion. All it takes is $20 to change out that fire extinguisher inside. Now for another $20, which I went ahead and spent, I put a fire extinguisher in the bed of my truck. It, Again, on Amazon, $20, super simple thing to do. And I mounted mine right in the bed of my truck here. Let me show you. So I can access that extremely fast uh, when I'm towing, because obviously my, my cover's folded up whenever we're towing. So if something happens in my truck, I can get out of the truck, I can get to that fire extinguisher extremely fast. If something for some reason where I catch on fire in the bed of my truck, like my DC to DC battery charger connection. If somehow the fuse failed or something arced and all of a sudden my bed's on fire and I can't get to that fire extinguisher, now I can run over to the trailer and get the fire extinguisher out of either the basement or right inside the door. And it was only $40 to upgrade these things, people. So, I mean, you really gotta do it. It's such a simple thing to do and gives you much, much better peace of mind when you're rolling down the road. The other thing to talk about with fire extinguisher is the charge. Now, if you have an older RV and the fire extinguisher is original to the RV, you might wanna double check that it's charged properly. You see how it's in those little green pie symbol there? Okay, that means it's good. There's also expiration dates on some of them. Um, so just make sure your fire extinguisher is up to date, whether it's charged properly, if it's, I, I don't know, maybe I'll do some research real quick and find out if it's five years or 10 years or when you should recommend uh, replacing them. But for $20, come on. I mean, I'm going to replace mine probably every five years at max um, just because it's such a cheap thing to do and it's just purely about safety. So I went ahead and did some research online and found out that it says that for wet chemical fire extinguishers, they need to be tested every six years. And for dry, they need to be tested every 12 years. But every six years, there should be maintenance done. And every five years, uh, or on another article, it said every five to 15 years, they should be tested and maintenance. There's just, to me, for $20, I'm gonna replace mine every five years, because why not? I mean, you know, with how much stuff we have in the RV of our personal belongings, our clothes, computers, all that stuff, um, plus the cost of the RV and the hassle of insurance, even if it is a covered loss, it's just not worth it. I mean, why not just spend $20 and upgrade this thing? It's totally worth it. I recommend it to everybody. 
and educate yourself a little bit on how to use it too because I, I know it sounds stupid you know just point and shoot but you know make sure you're doing it the right way so you can put out that fire as quickly as possible i know again i've seen way too many pictures and videos of brand new trailers old trailers motor homes everything set on fire and all you see left is the skeleton you know just the just the the steel that's left and it's just really sad to think about that family just lost that rv and potentially you know thousands of dollars worth of their own personal items inside of it so just keep that in mind uh next time and go out to your rv check out your fire extinguisher see what it looks like see how tiny it is and say hmm how big of a fire could i really put out with this thing that might answer your question right there if you're going to pop on amazon and uh get another fire extinguisher or just go to walmart target home depot they got them there too and they're all about the same price 20 25 dollars I, I looked at them so go ahead and get that replaced and until next time, make sure to subscribe, uh, comment below if you have any, any further comments, if you have a personal story you want to share with us, um, like the channel, share the channel. I appreciate it, and uh, we'll see you next time.